All right, what's up everybody? This is actually my second attempt at recording Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the hardest difficulty. The first recording got completely fucked up because apparently the game glitched and a bunch of bullshit happened and the AI just decided to fuck me up the ass. And uh, the original target goal was um, 45 minutes roughly and Ended up being an hour and 45 minutes because the game just wanted to be a bitch to me. <laughs> Mortal Kombat Trilogy, man. Like, it's funny because I've done a few practice runs of this game. And now that I've collected myself and, um, you know, doing this second recording, I've collected myself from that fucked up first experience. I think I played this game like two to five times. Five at best, I've been this uh, very hard campaign run or arcade ladder run. Like at least, you know, at best five times, at least two times. But you know, wh whatever. It, it's uh, it's um crazy because I I spent a lot of time trying to learn the AI. How the the AI exploits, so it wouldn't just be like the G Star video where he ended up just playing uh, Rain or Noob Saibot, and they just you know spammed projectiles and did the most boring stuff. I mean, that that's actually how you should probably do that with the, how fucked up the AI is. But there's other ways you can exploit the AI and win, and you know it, there's some gratification in, in doing it. At least the way I do it, in my opinion, but whatever. Um, I used to play this game a lot, especially back in like 2000, 2004 or 5. My my uh, grandparent, like my grandparents, had like a PS1, and I would always play this like during Christmas. I remember at their house. Uh, I my late grandparents, they've. Uh, passed away now but you know I, I still have really fond memories of this game and just being at their house which you know I actually live at their house now it I used to live in California and just commute here every Christmas and play this game or at least play it once with my family and we get to the fatality demonstrations uh, you know and we were just like a bunch of retarded kids back then my siblings cousins and I so we didn't know much about special moves and stuff, except for Noob Cyborg, because he's just that easy, apparently. This is the uh, the first Mortal Kombat for me, if you can tell. Also, the first two D fighting game for me. The first three D fighting game was Tekken Three. Anyways, uh, let's put in the thing. So this gives you one button fatalities. I originally didn't want to turn this on in the original recording, but apparently to do like animalities and babalities, you have to turn this on. So for the sake of those, I'm going to turn it on. Set the game to very hard. Low punch, high punch, low kick, high kick, high punch, block, run. There we go. This is just how I prefer it. It feels more like a modern uh, fighting game. It, Mortal Kombat didn't really have standardized controls on pad, in my opinion. I always found it weird, even as a little kid. Because Tekken, it, it would always be be like left punch is square you know one is square two is triangle three is X and then four is circle it doesn't it wasn't really like that in Mortal Kombat like low punch was freaking um, X so it was like one is X uh, two is square I don't know I always found it really weird for Mortal Kombat's controls Anyways, enough about my ranting. In the uh, 
first um attempt recording i was playing as sector at some point and i was actually doing trying to do cyrax like i was mixing up uh sector's like combo moves with a bunch of other stuff like sector from mk9 the original button layout for this game by default cyrax's move list so i just kept dropping sector's as combos in that video and i'm probably gonna upload that video unlinked or as a bloopers or some shit because I was just very unhappy by the end of the product but at the same time there was just like too much unique shit happening in the video for me to just want to actually delete it so if you guys find it worthwhile I'll definitely upload it or put like a link to it at the bottom like I do with a lot of videos in a playlist Yeah, other thing in the first video was the the uh, challenge tower was extremely unique. Like it wasn't like the normal tower I usually got. Usually the normal challenge like heart championship tower was much different. And I'll explain it once I get to it. I'm going to start with striker like I did in the original video. Hopefully I can end it off with sub sub zero like I intended in the original video, which didn't pan out. Okay, see, this one is more is what I was expecting. There's two endurance rounds right there. Dang, it, it, I didn't push anything. It just uh, went off. So yeah, there's two endurance rounds and then Motaro. But for some reason, there's like a small probabil probability, I guess, that it's gonna be one endurance round, then a Shokan boss battle, then a uh, endurance round where there's a one normal character and then. Or one random character, not a normal character. I, I don't know if you could get a boss character in the dirt. Um, so you get a random character and then you fight Motaro in the, as an endurance round. Which caught me off guard and just fucked me up. I ended up just timing him out. I'm going to expect but this one's the more standard one where it's two endurances and Motaro by himself, so I should be able to handle that. Also in the video, Striker's voice got all fucked up. Like he he was he, he had Jack's two Yeah, Jack's two voice, and I don't know why. Wow, I need to focus. Uh, I'm like ranting too much about like the other video. <laughs> it, it, it's it's just so crazy. That video almost like broke me. <laughs> I guess G Star meant it when, it, um, because you know I should give some context. Uh, there's this YouTuber named G Star three two one. You probably heard about him well before me. So, but just in case you don't. I really like his videos. He he's probably most popular for his Mortal Kombat videos, and he uh, did a run of Mortal Kombat on very hard difficulty. And he's like, I got already broken. I haven't even chosen my character because he knew that this was gonna be fucking bullshit. This is kind of like a, like, cause I, I know, uh, G Star has mysteriously like disappeared for over a year now. So this is somewhat of me going like, I miss G Star and I, I want to see like this, another Mortal Kombat trilogy video from him, but I probably won't. So I, I, I all I can, the next best thing is to make my own video on Mortal Kombat trilogy. So I'm going to start on the very hard tower. Well, I wanted the G, G Star to do specifically was I wanted him to do the glitch tower, but I don't think anyone really knows about it except for me and the one guy I told about. So, I'll, or my friends that I've told about in general, because I haven't just told one guy. Now I think about it.
Damn, anti-air kick. Yeah, there's a glitch tower. And I'm kind of all over the place. I, I'm a very disorganized person when I make these videos. I, I do a rough layout or a rough plan of what I want to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to like get to it and how I got to it. I'm recreating the same like situation just to make sure I get to the glitch tower. So it's on very hard. I chose championship tower and once I get to the end, I'll need to pick a specific block and then you'll see from there. Glitch Tower is very interesting though, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I, I'm half tempted to just start from Glitch Tower, but the problem is I want to give you guys a bit more context, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start with this. That's why I was ranting about G Star and like how I'm gonna be how I'm doing this hard um, tower run right now because this is the context of how and uh, why I'm at glitch tower and doing a video on glitch tower maybe someone has done a video on glitch tower I just haven't found it but I tried looking it up at least once and I didn't find it anyone oh shit That was weird. So, I think the one button fatality activated, but it didn't because Striker just like jumped forward and then he just started slowly moving in while his animation remains still just now. That's the problem with like one button fatalities is they can glitch. I think he was trying to do a babality though, I'm not sure. You know, the main issue with one button fatality is I can't do stage fatalities now unless the game glitches to where I can't do um, one button fatalities. Okay, good. Oh shit, he did a combo. I didn't expect him to link the jabs together like that. That caught me off guard. I'm probably gonna do Glitch Tower at the end with Sub-Zero, just to let you guys know. I find that I'm best with Sub-Zero in this game. Striker is also pretty good, but keep in mind everyone's like broken in Mortal Kombat, so Striker is actually not that good. He has like a 90% combo, but the practicality of it isn't like really there. Ow. Uh, brutalities in this game are pretty cool. Actually, I take that back. They, they wear out their welcome really fast, but they're cool at first glance. It's not really impressive when they act. AI does it. It's only impressive when players do it and when it's not one button fatality because it's actually a full combo string that you have to memorize to do the uh, brutalities in this game. I think that's what they were going for. A lot of people hate brutalities in these in this day and age. I mean, not modern brutalities like in MK11 and MKX, but in uh, original Mortal Kombat they hate brutalities. <laughs> It's a good thing these AI are fucking retarded. And right now the AI is just behaving like how I expect them to be right now.
All right, not a big deal. See animality. What the hell? These one button fatalities are not working right now. <laughs> I wanted the uh, animality. I, th I think animality is run. I can tell he's trying to do something, but it, it looks like it's not working. It, this, I think the game broke again or some bullshit. Oh, um, keep in mind, because of how difficult uh, beating Glitch Tower is, I, I'm playing this on an emulator with save states. I don't, I'm not going to use the save states until I actually get to Glitch Tower because I don't need it right now. Um, that's actually why I'm not... Oh, I gotta focus. Ow, fucking Katana fucked me up. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, I'm, I'm not using save states right now because I don't need them. I can play it. I can do this part legitimately. Or legitimately in the sense that I don't need save states. I can just exploit the game's logic and shit. Sector. I feel like playing Sector now. Hopefully, I, I actually mem like my muscle memory isn't like fucked up right now, and I can actually do Sector's combos and not do his like MK9 or Cyrax's combo or try to do the combo, but it's for but it's the format for like the original button layout. Whoops. I meant to do double missiles, but I fucked up the input. Fight. I can try Cyrax after this. I'm not even gonna try to um, really do well with Sector in this video just because I remember the first video attempt I did with Sector and he's part of the reason why the video ended up an hour and 40 plus minutes long because I kept trying to remember how to properly uh, do his combo or... It's not that I didn't forget it, it's just that my brain kept like muscle memory doing other combos. Which is the uh, problem I have with playing multiple characters. I, I usually stick to one. I'm a. Yeah, I usually only stick to one character. I'm a character loyalist in most fighting games. So whenever I play characters, I start mixing up moves lists and shit. What the hell? Did you see that combo didn't connect? You know, honestly, he is the cyborg version of Scorpion in this game because even his net pulls him back towards him, kind of like Scorpion Spear. There's a trick where you can mess up the AI because they're in the corner. They want to run away from you, but 
Because they can't run away from you because your back is to the wall, they'll run towards you. That's how the AI uh, aggro works in this game. Whoops, I turned her into a baby. Wins. Babality. Babalities were fucking hard in this game. Like, to give context, you had to not block the entire match. Just like in MK9. But trying to not block against AI in this is fucking ridiculous and bullshit. So, you can only do it against AI in a... You can only do it against AI on this, on a, um... With the one button fatality cheat code. I think, uh, Jax 3 is better. Like, MK3 Jax. But I might be wrong. I'm not too savvy on competitive Mortal Kombat. You like that run? You like how he just has the same, like, walking animation, but it's just sped up? I wanted uh, Cyrax's, like, animality, or his fatality. I don't know, I like all of... I think Cyrax has some of the best fatalities in this game. Uh, yeah, in this game. Because I, I believe he has, like, a helicopter one where he slices you up. The, um... Animality is a shark one, and then the other one is he blows you up with himself. Cyrax. And it's not like sub, uh, not sub zero, smokes fatality, where he blows you up with himself as well, because it's not the one where the planet blows up; it's just you and the opponent blows up. Fight. The uh, smoke one is funnier, but I think the Cyrax one is cooler. There we go. Wins. Fucked up the AI. Fight. I like how I keep getting Cyrax's combo on my first try pretty much because it's an easy combo bit. I kept mixing it up with Sector in the first video attempt I did. That you may or may not have seen. Okay, so run is the uh, fucking babality. Babality. Fuck. <laughs> I can't think of all of which buttons do what. I mean, obviously, because I keep pushing the one for Babality, because I keep thinking it's the one for uh, Animality. Damn. I just want Cyrax's animality, man. I'm probably gonna give up when I if I lose in this and just switch to another character, by the way. See I'm making good time this time. But I'm probably jinxing it by acknowledging that I'm making good time this time. Hmm. Let me see. Go back to Sub Zero, maybe? I'm not sure.
Yeah, I'm gonna go with sub zero again. Hopefully I don't get uppercutted off the stage, because I want the stage fatality if it glitches. Why does he get two... Like, I don't think the normal human AI gets two lightning bolts in a row like that. Wins. Phew, okay. Round two. Oh, I almost uppercutted by on a habit. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I like how bad it looks. For some reason, it looks a little different from the usual one. Usually, they go fl like he looks more like like it looks more appropriate at that time. Usually, they go like it has that falling image, and they're just like being pushed by the um, subway train. No, it looks a lot worse usually from what I remember. Okay, so he's gonna keep teleporting. Two teleports, fuck you. That's bullshit. Damn, fucking chip me out. Smokes are like really good in this game. Then again, he was good in UMK3. I think all versions of Smoke were really good. I haven't really, I don't know a Mortal Kombat where there's not a good smoke. Cyborg smoke, uh, human smoke, MK9 smoke, um, MKX triborg smoke. All of them are fucking strong as shit. Did I uh, mention that if you push up start on Sonya, that's how you can stage select? I don't know. You can see that in the G-Star video too though, so whatever. I told you guys eyes about G-Star, so you should go watch that. Since he inspired me to make this video in the first place. Damn it! I tried to whiff punish him with a... Ice ball, but didn't come out in time. Wins. The AI, uh, the AI also recovers like super fast. Damn. Fuck you. We're friends. But you're a robot, so go away. Wins. Friendship. Friendship again. I like that friendship, but the problem with that friendship is I think every ninja has that friendship. It's just like a different like jack in the box head. Which is kinda lame when you realize that. Liu Kang is one of the worst AI to fight, in my opinion, or one of the most annoying anyways. My point made. I, I don't know why, but I always seem to get Liu Kang as AI. Maybe it's because they know I hate him. 
Look, I hate, they know I hate fighting with King. What the fuck was that recovery? Okay, I think I found a gap in his defense. So if I knock him down, he'll try going to fireball because he's waking up. He doesn't have enough time to do the fireball. Or sometimes the AI just doesn't want to do anything. Let's see. So they censored that fatality. If you don't know what fatality that was, that was the classic uh, spine rip fatality that Sub Zero had since MK1. And in this one, they decide to blue ball you and black screen it. Why didn't they just give him a different fatality? That's why I don't understand. I think they were just lazy and decided to black screen it. Like, hey, look, you still have the same fatality, only you can't see it, so what's the point? Like, honestly, that's worse than the Joker fatality in uh, um, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe or whatever. I never actually played it, but I've seen the, more, the censored Joker fatality. Like, at least you can, at least the camera pans to fucking Joker. It doesn't even do that here. It just goes to a complete black screen and fuck the tile. Hopefully the game's nice to me and I don't have that many um, uh, opponents in this endurance round. There's no way of telling until you actually get to it, but there could be as many as like six people in an endurance round for this. Usually it's around three or four and if you're unlucky like G-Star, it's five G-Star should be like the one lucky thing is G-Star didn't get six because that's how you know that the game just fucking hates him I might have to do a cheese method if I get stuck on this too long though because I'm not doing I'm not recreating my old video because that's why I'm doing this video now where I spend over an hour and 40 minutes playing it, trying to beat this. Alright, so I can't do ice balls on this reptile. Go obstruct the combo. The good thing about Nightwolf is his reflect doesn't really work on Sub Zero. At least when the AI work does it. Okay, so rain. Up. Oh. Bullshit, man. He does a brutality. Fuck you. I wish AI didn't do this usually. I wish they did actual fatalities. This is like one of the things that annoys me about this. In Trilogy is they, um, they usually all go for like brutality or stage fatality at best. For finishers. If it's not, if they don't do those as finishers, then they just knock you out. Which is disappointing. It's not that I want them to do a finisher every time, but why, why uh, brutality is the uh, least entertaining of them all the stages are fine because it's not like you're gonna get the stage again when you uh, rematch as you can plainly see I, I didn't get the same stage the last time Let's 
see is he does it end on rain or does it go to four? Okay, it just ends on rain. So I got lucky. It's a three-man endurance round. Let's see, I got really lucky that it's Night Wolf because, again, you can't really use Reflect against the Ice Ball. Or the AI can't use it well anyways. Fuck that up. I was trying to do his other fatality. His other fatality is he uppercuts them and then uh, creates an icicle where they land on it and he dies. It's actually a pretty cool fatality. I like it. It's one of the better ones in this one, anyways. Though I think they just put it, took it from MK3. Okay, so it's a semi boss endurance round where it's a normal enemy and then you fight um, Shokan. I think it was Kentaro. I, I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> that looks funny. Oh, fuck me! What the fuck? Okay, well, the game caught me off guard with that. I didn't know that you could have a Shokan and then three and two other characters with him. So, it's. A Watch this be a four man uh, endurance round. Yeah, I, I was not expecting there. I, I haven't. This game caught me off guard again. So apparently, you can have um, uh, Shokan and two other characters and endurance round. So you know what? I'm just gonna assume that there's probably that there could possibly be six characters in an endurance round. And it doesn't matter if it's a Shokan or a boss character is the better term or not. So because they don't even have that as like one of the uh, secret battles is fight every boss in an endurance round. Because I think they know how bullshit that would be. They, they have two Shokans as uh, endurance round, but that's about it. Fight. Don't, don't discount this game. This game has no limitations for bullshit. What? What the fuck is happening? Okay, might have to switch to noob. Wins. I'm gonna switch to noob if if I uh, fail this one. I think. Whoops. Ah, uppercut. I ran out of run. Okay. I'm gonna switch to noob. I'm not putting up with this. I'm already at the 40 minute mark, so... Gotta keep this under an hour. That's my projected goal. There's no way I'm making another fucking hour and 40 minute video.
I uh, got ahead of myself there. <laughs> I got way too into the fucking clouds. Yeah, my head was in the clouds, basically. Look how fast those clouds come out though. This is part of the reason why, I mean, you know, there's a lot of reasons why, but that's part of the reason why the cloud for uh, Noob Saibot is so fucking broken in this game. Other than the nerf that it does. Okay, so it's a three man endurance round, thankfully. Uh, I was scared that it was gonna be a six man endurance round. From for a minute there. Okay, come on. Okay, close one. Yes, I got the one I wanted. I like that fatality. Some people hate it. I think G-Star hates it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being quiet. Part of it is I, I, I'm just focusing. I'm not that good at commentary, I'll be honest. I'm gonna have to do a part two because of how uh, long this part is. Alright, 1-1. One, one. See if I can get this. Ah, uh, my cloud didn't come out. Come on. Alright. Can't believe I got that my first try. Again, watch the first video and just watch. See how long it takes me for this because it's a fucking endurance round with Motaro. I, apparently it throws me off enough that I spent like over a half an hour on that part. Fight. Really depressed me. <laughs> I don't want to play as a, I don't want to beat him as noob. So I'm going to let him win. Wait, do I remember the code for Chameleon? I'm just curious. Let's see. Yeah, I do. What? 
<laughs> okay. So now that we sit there, the AI won't do anything, so it's best just to like spam spear. That worked out perfectly. Let's go back to Sub Zero. Sub Zero will be the character that I uh, do Glitch Tower on, because I'm gonna end up being character locked since I had to do save states, because of how the glitch works. They semi fixed it because I don't think they intended this glitch at all. This glitch was actually in UMK3, but they didn't fix it to where if uh, you started the glitch, if you die, you can continue and continue glitch tower. This is different. They semi fixed it to where if as soon as you die, it's game over and you're no longer in glitch tower. So I had to do everything in one go, which is no way I'm gonna fucking do that. So. I'm going to. I'm going to use save states just so I can do glitch tower in a reasonable amount of time without. Without, like, you know, losing my soul, basically. Okay, that was just a little bad RNG, I can get him. I like uh, Shao Kahn's like, weird temple thing he resurrected in the middle, or he erected in the middle of the town, not resurrected. And uh, Trilogy in UMK3, they didn't bring it back in MK9, which kind of disappointed me. Like, I know MK9 retconned a lot of stuff, it that's that kind of bummed me out because it didn't have a lot of the stages I liked. One of, one of my favorite stages, I know a lot of people probably didn't give a shit about the stage, was the waterfront stage. I thought that was a really cool looking stage. But they didn't bring it back in MK9. I don't think it would have been that hard to bring back, back the waterfront stage. Because they, they brought back like the bridge street uh, level. Ah, oh, crap. Ow. I was trying to cross him up, but it didn't work. Sometimes the cross up works really well on him. Other times it ends up like this, where I just get knocked the fuck out immediately. All right, come on. Let's try to break an hour. Let's try to break this for an hour. You know, honestly, I might just edit the video down if it goes past an hour this time. So I just want to let you guys know that. Okay, I got one. Let's see, one more round. And I should be able to do this under an hour. Damn, bad RNG. Maybe I will use Noob just so I can end the video in a reasonable time. Nah, I don't want to use Noob. I lost enough dignity from that, making that first video attempt.
see. Come on, Shao Kahn. Let me win this one. Gotcha. Okay, thanks for the whiff. Hey, look, it whiffed again. Did you see that combo whiff? Because I sure as hell did. one all right go on got win this one damn it oh no you motherfucker <laughs> that was fucked up man hey uh so you know I am like tired at this point, but how come some like maybe it's just me being tired of uh, playing this game now? But how come sometimes Shao Kahn's in the foreground and sometimes he's in the background? And by that I mean like when it says Shao Kahn wins, sometimes he's standing in front of the letters, and other times he's not. Like the letters are in front of him. Like I'm, I'm not just imagining that, right? Can you? Can you guys that are watching the video like verify this for me? Cause I don't know. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Fight. Yeah, I swear he's he was standing in front of the letters just once. Like during this recording, I mean. But maybe I'm just imagining it. Fuck that up. I wanted a combo, but it didn't come out. Maybe I'll go with Striker just because I'm gonna end up doing the other video in a separate one, anyways. The uh, Glitch Tower. Yeah, uh, it wouldn't hurt to use Striker, I think. Alright, Striker, let's give you a shot, boy. See, I, I don't think there's any way in hell I'm gonna do Glitch Tower with Striker, because he. I'm just not that good with doing combos with him. Like, Sub Zero, I can get like 40, 48 percent without really trying. Striker, I had to like actually try. That's like the cool thing about Striker's like um, baton throw is he just moves through the bosses with it. So he has special movement options with the boss characters. Wow, what a fucking piece of shit. Fuck you, Shalcon. Come on. I hate how like it freezes on there for like a good minute. Like is that for dramatic effect? I feel like they did it on purpose, but I can't quite tell for certain. Like it, it's not just me, like it seems like whenever Shao Kahn wins, it, it seems like it stays on Shao Kahn wins for an extended period versus like when you lose to other characters or regular characters or sub bosses. 
they don't seem to sit there as long as Shao Kahn does in his wind pose. Maybe that's an aesthetic choice. I don't know. Fuck you. Come on. Come on, man. Shokan really wants to be mean to me today. Let's try with Striker and then I'll maybe use a cheap ass character like Noob Saibot. Or maybe just that door, just because uh, I don't want to get um, Noob Saibot's ending again. I'll go more into depth about the Glitch Tower when I do it in the next video. It requires that you get to the end of the um, uh, ladder, you know, the end of this tower. Now, I believe it has to be Championship Tower. M maybe not necessarily very hard difficulty, but you'll see why it has to be like ch Championship Tower. All right, yeah, one more try with Striker, and then I'm done. I'm done with Striker. And I'll, I'll switch characters again. I'm just having such a bad day, man. A little over an hour. Yeah, okay, I'm fuck it, I'm going back to Sub Zero now and then I'm gonna cheap I'm gonna cheese him out with some other character. Probably, if I can't do it with Sub Zero this try. Ow. God fucking damn it, I should have had that round. Hey, stop shaking my out my uh, fucking knee. Like by putting the fucking table that the mic's on. I'm sorry about that if you could hear that. And we're wondering what the fuck that sound was. One more, one more. With uh, Sub Zero, then I'm cheesing him. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up cheesing him with new Saiba at this point. Fuck you, Shao Kahn. I don't know why when I'm recording it's this hard. It, usually the AI isn't this mean to me. I mean, the AI is hard, but it's like, it just feels like I'm getting like all the bad RNG right now. See what I mean? One more, one more, one more, one more. It's, it's crazy because look how much little health fucking Shao Kahn has and then his little bitch ass gets up and reads my inputs and fucking kills me. Now the sun's getting in my eye. So I can't do this recording much longer without having to get up. So I think Sub-Zero moves slightly faster than Striker because he can actually dodge the da the forward dash. Look at that recovery. Fuck you, Shao Kahn, you piece of shit. Ah, I fucked up the combo. I really want to get... Okay, if I, if I hit the hour and five minute mark and I still haven't been up with Sub-Zero, then that means I'm switching this Noob Saibot. That's the only way I'm going to switch the cheesing at this point.
Should I keep doing the one more, one more vortex? Damn it! Come on, come on, come on. I really want to beat him with sub zero. I blocked that. Fuck you. Come on, 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 start, 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 start. It's hard to say start repeatedly really fast. Start, 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 uh, start, 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 start. <laughs> On top of that, my mouth is dry, so that doesn't help. I've been recording for over two hours at this point. Over two and a half hours, so... My mouth is like, fucking exhausted because I don't talk that much usually. Yeah, fuck you too, bitch. Fucking didn't get my uppercut. Got him. Okay. Oh wait, I can slide under those uh, projectiles. I think I I think it's the startup that hits me, so I need to do it like slightly in advance, and I think he's gonna do it, which sucks. If I want to slide under the projectiles, I mean... Fuck. I keep lying. I'm gonna wait till the 10 minute mark to cheat. And use Noob Cybot. I'm just an asshole, aren't I? Just keep lying. Because I really want to do it with Sub-Zero. But I know I've done it with Sub-Zero. That's why I'm like super pissed off right now. And I'm like, I'm gonna do this with Sub-Zero. I've done it with Striker too. What the fuck was that? How many times did he swing that hammer? Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck, man? See, it's funny because that hammer is actually, just like in uh, MK11, it actually is a super good anti-air in this one bit. The AI usually doesn't know to use it as an anti-air. Apparently for the video, he knows just exactly when to use it as an anti-air against me. God. I know why I I keep underestimating it like the, min the minutes I... Uh, like... It's because of all the loading between like, like uh, his win pose, going to continue, and then starting the character select, and then going back to the tower. And then... That's why it's like if I don't beat this in a minute, I can't get like two tries in. Fuck! I thought he was going to do a projectile. Fuck you, man. Good thing he's on danger. I 
I hate that so fucking much. Boom! Fucking took me a lot. And I, uh, that was my last last try. And I, you know, I was probably bullshitting. I was probably gonna try again with Sub Zero, but well, now we'll never know because I just won with Sub Zero. So fuck you all. <laughs> fuck you. fuck all you guys. I didn't believe that I could do it with Sub Zero. Uh, so the first one is the you know the character ending. And then each one's like either a boss us or a demonstration of some sort, except for number five, which is the question mark right here. This'll give you a random prize. I might just go with this. Now nah, I'm just gonna go with Sub-Zero's ending. Tournament outcome. I'm gonna try to read fast, cause I read slow. Having been killed in the first tournament, Sub Zero somehow seems to have emerged the third er, win, uh, to have emerged to win the third tournament. However, removing his mask, both the Outworld and the Earthworld warriors are shocked to discover the true identity of this warrior, warrior who has been long missing from a previous Mortal Kombat and the one who will return in the fourth tournament. Okay, I don't know. I, I think part of it is I just get really nervous when I read. So I, I start freezing up and then the text moves. I'm not, I don't have that much experience reading out loud, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I'll, I'll see you guys back for part two when I do Glitch Tower with Sub-Zero. Or, you know, Mask Sub-Zero. Other than that, I guess I'm out. Peace.